Hey, what's going on? My name is Matt. This channel is called Flip Empire, where it's all about flipping, picking, and making a buck. And one of my goals for this channel is to help you find things that you could buy for cheap and sell for a ton of money on places like eBay. And so today we're specifically going to talk about high school yearbooks. The yearbooks that have the most value, those are going to be the ones that have famous people in them. I'm talking famous like uh, uh, celebrities, uh, movie stars, TV stars, um, uh, sports figures, uh, political figures. You would be surprised at what some people collect. So um, I'm going to show you some examples on eBay and this is going to kind of give you a good idea as to how to look up the value of things, uh, specifically in this case, high school yearbooks. So we're going to go to eBay, we're going to type in high school yearbook in the search, we're going to go to sold listings, and we're going to sort highest to lowest, and then it'll show us the most valuable listings. And as we can see here, as we scroll through, we can see examples. Okay, so the reason why this is relevant is I was at this antique and thrift store, as you can see, right here it says antique and thrift um, just a minute ago and I found a small treasure trove of about six yearbooks from Beverly Hills High School like, this is Beverly Hills High School this is like 90210 Beverly Hills California this isn't Beverly Hills Ohio so um, movie stars rich and famous live there and a lot of celebrities so this is kind of a pro tip if you don't already know a way to look up notable alumni from certain high schools you just bring up wikipedia scroll down to the bottom of the high school's page and then usually they they like to brag about the alumni at their school and so you, you find a section called notable alumni and then it usually has a year that they graduated or a year that um some kind of a year associated with them and then I use that and compare it to the year of the high school, of the yearbook and then I can get an idea as to what celebrities or famous people might have been from that year so anyway uh, there may be a better way of doing it but that way works really well so I'm super excited I'm gonna go inside this thrift store there was no price on the books that I saw I'm gonna go inside see if I can get a good deal on them and then we're gonna bring them back out here we're gonna open them up and we're gonna see if any of the celebrities that I'm hoping are in them, we're gonna see if they are. And then what it'll do is it will really boost the value if they're in there. Let's go, I'm gonna try and record covertly. I don't necessarily know if they want people filming inside their store. So let's do this. Yeah, like if I was to buy like maybe six of them, yeah. then maybe um, I'd yeah. be curious to see if I might be able to get them for maybe like 40 for for the... For six? Yeah, for six. Six of the Hollywood Beverly Hills ones? Yeah. Because that came from an estate in Hollywood. Okay. This got this, uh, the estate was a teacher at the high school. At okay. The high school. That's awesome. Yeah. And everything. Let me find out for sure. Okay, thank you. I just got, I just got all of these, all six of these for 45 bucks. And uh, I'm super excited to go through them and see what we got. All right, so what I did is I made myself a little list of the names that I think might be in here. 
and we're gonna go through and see if they are. 1993. All right, this is more of an obscure name. Uh, there's a uh, gentleman by the name of Johnny Blue, who I guess is a major pop singer in in China. Ha, huh. he is here, 49, 60, 62. Oh, right there. He's in a <laughs> he's in a picture holding his fingers up right there. And that's awesome. Now what I did find out when I was in there, I talked to the lady. She said that these actually came from a teacher. So they probably won't have signatures on them, unfortunately. So um, cool, let's go to the next one. Next one in the stack is 1974. Huh. This one, I'm really looking forward to checking out because this is the one that uh, it could have Jamie Lee Curtis and it could have possibly Carrie Fisher. So let's start with Jamie Lee Curtis. I've been sitting here for the last like five minutes looking in this 1974 yearbook and I was trying to find Jamie Lee Curtis, which I guess that is her maiden name now that I've done a little bit more research. she Curtis isn't in here. Um, of course her married name's not in here. I don't know why I looked that up. And then I also looked up Carrie Fisher, and unfortunately I can't find her. So let me grab my next one here. This is the 1987 Watchtower. And this one I have written down that it could contain um, Gabriel Mocked, the guy from Suits. So, um, which I love that show, by the way. M-A-C-H-T. Ah, hey, awesome. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, he's on page 33 and 138. Let's see, freshman, princess, and prince. <laughs> uh, I think... I think that's him. That totally looks like him. That's awesome. He's got a sweet mullet going on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, and then uh, let's look at the other one. So he was a freshman this year. That's hilarious. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's totally him. Dang. All right. So this one... This one could be pretty valuable. Um, who doesn't want to see um, the star of Suits with a freshman mullet in a 1987? That that was pretty sweet back then. And uh, this next one is 1989. So according to my notes, um, this one could also have Monica Lewinsky. This one could have Angelina Jolie. And this one could possibly have uh, another Gabriel Macht. M-A-C-H-T. All right, he's in this one too. So 72, 170, and 171. I don't see him in there. Let's go to the next page, 171. Let's just go to the 72 and see if that's right. He's not on this one either. Okay, whoever was in charge of yearbook class this year did a lousy job. This is seniors. This is 89, and we found him in 87, so he shouldn't even be in the senior section. He should be in the junior section. All right, um, let's check out uh, Angelina Jolie. I sure hope we have her in one. If we have two celebrities in one, we might be able to put this up for auction, and we might be able to um, get people one person bidding because they want Jolie and one person because they want uh, Mott. So let's see. All right, here are the J's. All right, I don't see Angelina Jolie in this one. And then let's see if Monica Lewinsky. L-E-W. Ah, yes, Monica Lewinsky. Oh, but she doesn't have a page number. Okay, that means she's either n doesn't have a picture in here or um, they just did another lousy job in finding uh, or in in uh, putting the numbers in so I'm get this one. I'm really gonna have to hunt through <laughs> Sorry here take a look. It's like night and day so um, 
Man, he is happy. He is so happy. Look at that smile. Hope this is focusing okay. Um, man, he is happy to be there. Now, and he's a junior. Now let's go to sophomores. Oh, M gosh. That is awesome. Monica Lewinsky does not look happy to be a sophomore at Beverly Hills High School um, in 1989. But um, that's pretty awesome that they both went to school at the same time. They're in the same yearbook. All right, last one here. Um, this is the 1985 edition. All right, it looks like this one could have Polly Shore, which I don't know how many people would be interested in owning Polly Shore's yearbook, but uh, it's still kind of cool. Oh, Paul Shore. Oh yeah, Paul Shore. You can do that. Page 105. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Paul Shore. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's him right there. That's totally him. He does not look happy. <laughs> uh, cool. So we have Paulie Shore. All right. And. Um, unfortunately, no Jamie Lee Curtis, no um, Carrie Fisher, but yes to some people that are probably going to make those worth some pretty good money. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to, um, to go uh, source those with you. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna sell them for at this point. I don't think there are any comps of these specific people. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please like it. If uh, you like this type of video, I would really be honored to have your subscribe. And um, anyway, yeah, I will uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.